Yo, what's up? And welcome back. Today we're looking at a puzzle called Toad by Cash Kasho Osamu, friend of mine who greeted me in Japan when I went there for my trip this year. So very fitting that we get to solve one of his puzzles to wrap up 2023. I know a lot of creators probably ask you the same questions, but let me know in the comments below, what is your New Year's resolution? Or if you have a few, maybe give me some ideas. I do have some as well, but I'd love to hear yours. Let me know. 2023 had its ups and downs for me. All in all, I'm still grateful uh, to be able to do this and I'm still thankful that you guys are here watching. And I'd also love to thank our very last sponsor of the year, NordVPN. You don't need to be a conspiracy theorist or a paranoid maniac wearing a tinfoil hat to understand that your personal information is at risk when you're browsing the internet. While with NordVPN you get a threat protection shield which protects you from malware, from privacy leaks, and even ads. And you'll even get a dark web notification if any of your credentials is at risk. Another reason is that NordVPN does not mine your private information that is yours. They do not share it, they do not use it. And if that wasn't enough to get you on board with NordVPN, maybe this will do it. If you're traveling, but your favorite piece of content might not be available in the country you're traveling to, with a simple click of the mouse, you can virtually be anywhere in the world and keep watching your favorite content. And one of the biggest deterrents for me in the past with VPN is that they were slow, but now NordVPN is the fastest VPN ensuring that you've got a stable connection when watching your content. So for your two year plan plus four months free, go to nordvpn.com slash Chris Ramsey and they'll even back it with a 30 day money back guarantee. Safer internet, privacy, content anywhere. What more could you ask for? Go to nordvpn.com slash Chris Ramsey and try it out for yourself. All right, without any further ado, let's solve the toad puzzle. All right, the last puzzle of 2023. A very fitting puzzle also. So this is my Karakuri gift. So by signing up to the Karakuri Creation Group, a group of craftsmen that cra handcraft these puzzles in Japan once a year, along with the membership fee, you will receive one puzzle from an artist of your choosing around Christmas time. And for me, that artist was Kasho. As some of you know, I went to Japan and made a documentary about this company and these people. And the person who greeted me, who picked me up, and the person who I hung out with the most was Kasho. And he was just so kind. And it was just a very inspirational moment for me in 2023. So me ending off the year with Cash's contribution to the Christmas exchange or the Christmas gift is very fitting and serendipitous. So I thought I'd end it here. Now I've not solved this, I've not opened it. You have Cash, uh, Cash's Instagram there if you guys wanna check that out. I don't know if you can even scan that or if you're using your phone at the moment so you can't really scan anything, makes sense, but check them out. And here it is, Toad. Wow. So this is a little toad. So because this is really recent, I can't find anything online. It also does not come with a solution. And so this is the first time. I don't exactly know uh, what type of wood this is, so I, I don't wanna take a guess, but it seems like two different types of wood, maybe three different types. All right, so here we go. Looks like this moves, ah. So here we have our first move. Again, these will be really simple. This will be like one or two moves only, maybe three. Uh, as you can see, it is currently blocked. There is a small, small peg stopping it from opening all the way. Hmm. My guess is there has to be a move before this that allows this to go down a bit further. We're gonna hold that. What about the other leg? The other leg is not moving. All right, what about the eyes? Little hands. What would a toad do? A lot of times the solution is hidden within the story of the piece itself. This being a toad, maybe it, it either croaks or it jumps. Toads also, don't they live in the dirt? They don't really live in the water. <laughs> Didn't expect to learn anything about a toad today, did you? Well, maybe this, maybe this goes out of the way somehow? No, does this go out of the way? Little nostrils here too.
did not expect to be stumped by this. I do see over here, you can see that there's a different color of wood here. And it looks like a little piece of wood that I could maybe like shuck out, but it won't come out. Do I have to pull this out and shift it a certain way or does this have to remain in? And now there's another movement that has to occur prior. After carefully massaging the entire puzzle, I can't find anything. Oh. Oh. Uh. There is something right here. There's a magnet right there. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Wait, did I get it? I think I did. Oh, that is phenomenal. What a fun solution. Let me put it all back. It should just click into place. Yes. So. The reason I went for this is usually, I don't know if when you were a kid and you'd find a toad, but you'd like, you'd press its butt down a little bit and it would just hop forward. And then we made those little origami that did the same thing, but toads would just kind of, if you touch their butt, they'd just <laughs> jump forward. And uh, so I had the idea of maybe, maybe something back here. And then as you can see, that clicks together. So this comes down. So this part here is actually stuck to this part, which is why when it's down, I can't open it any further. I have to hold this in place to be able to peel that down. And only then, ah, so you gotta pull down on it first. That's the, that's the first thing. And then once it's down, you take the leg and you go up with the leg. Now you freed the bottom part, you, sh you shift it to the side under the feet. And if you look at here, there's barely any room there. That is just like the minimum amount of room required for that to move and then you pull down. So up, over and up. So again, it goes down, this you can go up, over and down. Now with these things, the tricky part is, is that you do have to store these in a place that has a bit of humidity or it doesn't have too much humidity or too little uh, because the boxes eventually they will kind of get stuck if uh, you don't regulate that properly. And one thing I've seen in Japan with the way they store these is they pretty much treat their cabinets like humidors for cigars and they'll put like a glass of water inside the case uh, storing all of you know the wood puzzles and that sort of helps it out. Very clever solution, awesome little gift. Thank you so much, Karakori Creation Group and Cash, Casho, really appreciate it. That is the toad. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this puzzle and maybe if you enjoyed some of the content this year. Well, there you have it folks, the last solve of 2023. For those of you still watching, I'd highly encourage you to check out my podcast. It's called Bottom of the Barrel. I host it with Wes Barker, another comedy magician. Uh, it is 18 plus, so do not watch it with your children. Uh, we cover a variety of topics, but mostly conspiracies and comedy, and we just laugh and kind of have drinks and, and catch up. If that's something you might be into, check out Bottom of the Barrel, otherwise known as Bob Post Weekly. We have a Patreon as well going on there and we're on episode 170, I think, or something like that. So we've been we've been doing it for like three years now. Three, f almost four years probably. Would love to have you on board. I left the link below. Um, thanks for everything in 2023. I hope you guys have a safe holiday season. I hope you guys uh, get what you ask for. And I hope you guys work hard towards what you want in the future. And good luck with that. We'll see you there. All right. Peace.